Yeah. Hey, y'all. Who's this? Hey, hey, sweetheart. Who's the precious baby on your lap? This is my little girl, my little twin, Keelani. Say hey, Keelani. Ke 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 Keelani. 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 I apologize. Keelani. So, but wait, you asked for Nora. Are you, are you a lesbian? I like, yeah, like I'm interested in both, but like a woman would be okay. Have you Stop ever, the cap. Have you ever dated a woman? Your daughter said yes. <laughs> Kind of. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh, what uh, is the name, sweetheart? Hold on. Come on! That's the theme of the night. If you've been watching the whole show, joking and playing, playing and joking. That's all we've been getting. Joking and playing. Playing and joking, Mr. Walker. I was just bullshitting. And you know this, man. Yeah, this is terrible. Arm baby, Theo, you see that? And here we go. Here we go. She had a whole arm baby. She may be into men. She may be into women. It may be something. It may be nothing. Part for the course for tonight. Why not? Yeah, we're going to let her keep cooking. Here we go. My name is Jessica. Jessica, where are you calling me from, baby? Um, I'm from Alabama, Childersburg, Alabama, like the country. country. Alabama. Okay, what do you do for mm -hmm. a living? Um, I work in customer mm -hmm. service from home for Verizon. Okay, do you have any kids? Mm -hmm. I do. I have three, actually. This is my youngest. She's three, and then I have an 11-year-old boy and a 7-year-old boy. Are they all the same father? Yes. Why y'all not together? So you had a baby three years ago. Some things just don't work out. <laughs> but yeah, some things just don't, they, they just don't work out. They don't work, so, work yeah. out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jessica, Alabama, customer service, three kids, 11, 7, and 3. Um, what's their zodiac sign? No. Um, I'm a Pisces, but I do have a little bit of Aquarius in me, but I'm a Pisces. Okay. When I'm okay. laughing. <laughs> okay. And Jessica Alabama, customer service for kids. Um, and let's get to it. So are you open to men, men and women? Yes, but preferably a woman because, yeah, I I honestly feel like a, I'm, I'm understood more by women. And the feeling that I get, like, sexually from a woman like it's different from a man like a, a man has never ever made me feel the way a woman has so yeah they said they they said the baby here and all of it i mean it's okay oh, okay well it's okay so what kind of woman you looking for um somebody like nora but um i Ooh, was nora, she really like you nora but anyways honestly like i just I, I i want somebody that's understanding number one um somebody that's loyal that's honest um somebody that's gonna motivate me to be better than what i am like somebody that if you see me messing up tell me and somebody that knows how to pray and that's going to love me correctly and is able to receive my type of love. So, okay. Yeah. What's some deal breaker? There we go. There we go. She started talking about praying. Talking out your neck saying you're a Christian. <laughs> huh. Huh. Here we go. What. She. She up here, she said, I want somebody that's going to make me better than I currently am. I.e., I want somebody to hold me accountable. Kendra just sat up there and said, well, dang, the baby here and all this, meaning this may not be too good. This ain't a good look. You up here talking about who you want to hunch on and who hunching on you. And, and you're sitting there you're holding a baby. You got a whole arm baby. Kendra just tried to hold you accountable. And she said, what's wrong with that? It's it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. There you go. So if you want to try to hold her accountable and make her better, she all she got is combativeness. She gonna shut it down. She a liar, she a cheater, and she a rogue mercenary. 
There we go. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy, for the super chat. It says, call CPS now. This stink bug is flagrant on here. Yes. There you go. Somebody said it. She she up here acting like a whole stink bug. She Somebody said she got that three-piece spicy. You know, just so happens. She claimed they all by the same dude. And thank you, Gavin. You know, Like Gavin said before, you got to put an asterisk on that. No, we ain't just riding. See how you up here acting? You playing with your genitalia? Going meet to meet all over the place? You got three kids. You got three kids, but you but but nothing made you feel good, more better than than scissoring with a woman. What are we talking about? She wild, she scorned, she damaged. Go ahead, have at it. Yeah, yes, yeah, another one come in. Another one, modern mercenary. So, if you got it, it ain't a question. All right, <laughs> that's them. They listen to too much music, man. I'm telling you. It's yes, they too do. Much TV. It's too much TV, too much Instagram. It's, they listen to too much music. Sometimes you just need to sit in a room and don't listen to nothing. Go At sit all. out, listen to nature. Do something. Go. Find your purpose. Quit listening to music. Stand on Instagram. Watch your love and hip hop all day long. Straight line, I could not have said it better myself. Go, go ahead and sit in a dark room. They terrified they can't do it. They can't do it. And like you said, Rebecca, they are playing genital roulette and they all have everything is meat to meat, but they won't, they don't ever talk about these uncurables they got going through their bloodstream. They don't talk about, you know, t- got to take penicillin and all that madness. If that's still a thing, seriously, they don't never talk about the adverse effects. I heard just going meat to meat with nugs, nugs and bone quiches. Everybody ain't clean, my man. Uh, shout out to my guy Theo Coop, Do Better Podcast with the super chat. Says she got more baby hair than the baby. Unbelievable. <laughs> Seriously. Ah! Seriously. <laughs> yeah, she, got, she got them baby hairs plastic to going down her forehead. Come on, man. We got to do better. Got to do better. Here we go. Mine got be useless. <laughs> Somebody, somebody, somebody judging my parents and because I'm speaking about my sexual preference in front of my daughter, like, baby, this is 2023. I ain't trying nothing for my children. This is real life. So if she grow up and have the same preference, then she just do, like, please. She, mind you, she's three, and I'm, 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 very, I'm, I'm speaking very selectively. So she three. Keep that in mind. Not 33, but three. Stay, stay over there. But all right, yeah. Oh my God! Someone please call nine one one. Like I said, like I said, go ahead and try to help her be better. Go ahead and try to point out her faults, and that's what you gonna get. It's twenty twenty three. Yo, lo, what you mean? She only three. She ain't thirty three. She they got they pull excuses out of thin air. Accountability don't live here no more. Never did. Good luck. Good luck trying to be our friend whore accountable. The chat, every kid to try to, the chat tat tried to, and she swatting them out. Wop, get out of my face with this accountability madness. It's 2023. And what an amazing cover all excuse. They said, if anything, oh, why are you doing that, girl, boy, girl? It's 2023. It's 2023. Why are you sitting there eating dog shit? It's 2023. <laughs> Real talk. So here we go. Shout out to my guy, Don Jeter. For the super chat in the hell with the price of the money in the thing. He says, Mr. Walker, it's all love. We roast short dreads in Atlanta. It's tradition. You Gucci, my boy. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Don Jeter. I tell you what, when I was in college, listen here, I I don't mind. I love the jokes. I was team captain. Yeah, I was the butt of every joke. I love seeing people make fun. If you can't make fun of me, then you ain't my friend. So I love it, brother. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what's some deal breakers? Um, I don't, I don't like being lied to. I don't like being. I don't like my emotions being played with. Like I just want somebody to just just keep it one hundred. Um, some I don't want nobody staying at home with their mama. 
come with your own stuff so that if, if something happens, you can leave it what, what you came with. Um, you got to have a car. I, I I don't really care about, like, your income, but be able to, like, carry your own. And if something happens, like, you can support the unit. But, um, yeah. <coughs> okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Probably ain't even listening for real. But, is, um, that- I'm sorry, but come in, like, she three, she ain't gonna remember this, so she probably ain't even listening for real. She just woke up. But it's okay. She a mama, baby. It's it's fine. This my baby. Whatever come with her, I'm gonna have what? to do it. So, do. And I do. I like, I, never mind. But anyways, yeah, let, I'm sorry, Kendra. Forgive me. I was gonna say. These parents are atrocious. She said, I will purposely ruin my kid's life and I will be there to deal with it. And she's going to be here to have to deal with me. This would be my sister uh, daughter or sister wife, whatever y'all want to call her. It don't matter. She can do whatever she want to do and I'm going to be there. Uh My baby. It's my (laughs) baby. Hey, hey, I love, I make it a point to call our children little humans. They little humans. We just doing our best, the best we can to give them a fair shot and, and not screw them up with our past trauma and madness. But like Gabby said, moms like this, they don't take that approach. No, it's my baby. Like it's their possession. It's not your possession. It's a little human. Help it out. Give it a fair shot. Don't be sitting up here just, just in shoving trauma down this throw up his nose in his eye sockets. That's all we saying. You sitting up here on the whole dating show. We, this is on the internet forever. This ain't going nowhere. And we can think about the kids. This girl get into be, become a teenager now she's in high school and one of her frenemies pull up this video. Girl, look at you and your mom sitting there holding you while she looking to munch on a carpet. Oh. Well, talk. Chunk, chunking up the. Uh huh. Bad. Well, listen. Let's just let let let's just speak on this, and we can move forward because there are a lot of people in the comments that do feel as though the conversation you're having in front of your daughter is too mature. I think is the way I would say it. And your response to that is, it's not. Right. In in my opinion. Okay. In her opinion. The woman that she have to look a certain way. Um, I yes. Um, she gotta look like Nora, but like, um, honestly, I would say yes and you no. Know, like, looks don't really mean too much, but I don't want nobody because I ain't, I ain't all that or whatever. But I consider myself to be presentable. Like, I want somebody that's presentable, presentable, like clean looking, keep yourself together, keep your hair and nails done, you know, so yeah, just just pretty much presentable. And I don't want nobody that's ever been like recovering from drugs or something like that. Like that I don't want to deal with. Um because I have encountered those type of people. So that's why I'm saying that like I don't want no recovering from nothing type of alcoholic drugs, n- none of that. I don't I don't want none of that. Okay. 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 Um, let's do the Kendra cam. I know you got baby girl in your uh, hand. Okay. Let me go put my baby down, though, because I'm... <laughs> Can you go sit on the bed? I'll be right back, okay? But, um... Can y'all see me? We, can't... we got you. Yeah, I get to the middle of the camera, sweetheart. Okay, we can see you now. All right, we see you, bro. I y'all know. Was gonna start so that wait, and I do want somebody that's going to motivate me to lose some pounds. Like, we can get in the gym together. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And business-oriented as well. Um, I need somebody that wants something out of life because I do. I don't got time for games. I don't want no little boy or no little girl. I need a grown man or a woman, you know. So. I want to the age range you would date. You are, how old are you, Jessica? I am 31. Oh, okay. 31. Okay, what's the age range you would date? Um, for a man, I would prefer somebody just like 35 to like, well, I ain't even gonna say 35 because I like my meat with a little seasoning. So I'm gonna say like 38 to 55, something like that. Um, and then like a woman, I would prefer like 35 to 45. 
35 to 45 for the one. I definitely, I'm, I'm not Section A, baby. The house I live in, I own it. The car I drive, I own it. Hello, somebody. <clears throat> Cousins, I told y'all that something. Hell! Don't, don't, don't judge a book by its cover because this is just a rough day. Like, I've been working all all day. And I also bake. Um, so, yeah. Jess Treats LLC. Mm-hmm. Hell! Okay. Um, so Jessica, when was your last relationship? Um, a year ago. You don't have to. Was it a man or a woman? A man, my baby did. Um, but yeah. Here we go, man. I can't stand my baby daddy. <laughs> my baby daddy. So that's the last. That's the last person she hunched. Was her baby daddy? This is the so ratchet. Yeah, yeah. She, whoever Nora is, who, whomever the hell Nora is, she, she won't. The other big sister come on. The gatekeeper woman said, "I want a man like the Nora woman came on and was pandering. Ain't no bigger pander than a stud, and, or or a woman of, you know, what I mean, like that. So she come yeah. here. Oh yeah, that's what woman come in. I'm gonna take care of you and do all these wonderful things. There we and go. Now everybody was like, "Oh yeah, why don't men talk like that? Stop." That now they is, all want Nora. Go get with Nora then. Find out that she capped. That's a grim reality. Ain't no, there is no bigger simp, an individual that's sympathetic to a 3 year foes position than a stud. They they taking care of that kid, no questions asked. They the mama, daddy now, all of the above. <laughs> Real talk. And that's what she looking for. She want that big step study energy, baby. So step study. <laughs> uh, huh. Come on! <laughs> oh man, what are we talking about? Here we go. Shout out to my guy Eric Jordan for the super chat. Says this bitch uh needs to get back with her baby daddy. She got three kids with this man. It's over. <laughs> He done got all that milk. He said, ain't no need to buy the cow. It's over. He ain't going, but nothing ain't going back. He done got all he wanted out of her. He done and done. It's over. She come in hood. That big hood. Big diamond energy. We got a big diamond drop in honor of this woman. We're going to debut the diamond drop. Here we go. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Here we go. I just got a top from a script of bit from a kangle key made a clock with a ruler kill. Hey, what don't play with me? This bitch a hoe. Mad at the stove. Hey. You know how it goes. He want to smoke. So I bought some dope and took yeah. the club. I got some top from a script of bit. She from kangle key just bought a clock with a ruler clip. Hey. What don't play with me? This bitch a hoe. Mad at the stove. You know how it goes. He want to smoke. So I bought some weed and took her to the O. Hey. In the big name of Jesus. You hear me? Huh? Huh? That's the official Bon Quisha anthem. All right? Yeah. How fitting. Took it to the O. There you yeah, go. That's King Bon. That's King Bon featuring Big Diamond. All right? That's Big Diamond energy. That's King Bon energy. That's Shot town energy. That's energy. Can't get no more hood booger than that. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Yes. Hit the like button for the diamond hood nook, Quisha, bong, Quisha. All right. Uh, 